Hi guys and welcome to Castle's Corner. I'm Coach Castle and this is another Red Pill of Resistance exercise series. If you're unfamiliar with it, this series is where I break down scientifically using biomechanics, which is a study of physics and how it affects anatomy, basically. Well, in this context. And I explain essentially why everything you know about resistance training in the gym is completely wrong. Why your personal trainer is wrong and why all of the many coaches and online gurus are wrong. I explain it as simply as I'm able to with a lot of images so on and so forth so you guys can also understand it. The best thing about this is you will no longer ever need a personal trainer of any kind for any reason. Or coach. You can stop wasting all of your time spending hours in the gym every week because there is only one best exercise for every muscle on your body. One most efficient. And you only have to do one. There is no reason to be doing this nonsensical muscle confusion compound exercises. It's, it's completely absurd. And this series I go over and explain why that is the case. So if you haven't watched the other videos, please check them out. I'll include some cards at the top of the screen. And of course, I'm going to have a full playlist of all of these videos. I suppose it'll be around uh, 20 or 30 videos when I'm done. And then I can move on to another topic that doesn't relate to biomechanics. Again, um, this is just one of the things I'm good at. One of the things I'm proficient in. Just one. Uh, it's, it's always bewildering to me that more people don't understand this information, but anyways, if you guys are ready to take that red pill, today we're going to be talking about the trapezius muscle, which is a large muscle by the way, it goes through a full 150 degrees of movement, so you have to train it in two separate ways. Today we're going to be talking about the upper trapezius, or shrugging, and we're also going to be talking about the middle trapezius, which mainly deals with scapular attraction and why everybody gets it wrong uh, when they're trying to build a big back. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get into the video. The origins of the trapezius fibers are all located on the spine. You can clearly see the origins of all of these fibers are located on the upper part of the spine. Some of the fibers even originate at the base of the skull. All of these upper fibers then attach to the upper ridge of the scapula, or the shoulder blade, and the outer part of the clavicles, or the collarbone. When these fibers contract, they pull the scapula and the clavicle upwards. Of course, this pulls the humerus up as well, because the humerus is attached to the scapula and to the clavicles by the way of tendons and ligaments. In terms of direction of movement for exercise of the trapezius, for function and for physique development, we only need to concern ourselves primarily with two directions. That would be straight up, 0 to 20 degrees, and straight back, the middle trapezius, 90 to 100 degrees. Despite rowing exercises being considered among the most primary, standard, and traditional movements for bodybuilding and developing a big, thick, or wide back, they are clearly not ideal for the development of the lap, or ideal for the direction the muscle fibers run with the middle trapezius. The middle trapezius and the lats are the two largest, most prominent muscles on the back, but neither of them gets fully activated nor fully loaded by a rowing motion. The rowing motion is performed mostly by the posterior deltoids or the rear delts, and because the rear delts are directly opposite the forward pulling resistance, which is typically provided during rowing exercises, they are the muscle which is mostly loaded. But those are not the target muscles of any rowing exercises. The muscle origins that are on the spine, the trapezius and the latimus, which are intended to be targeted by the rowing exercises, are not positioned directly opposite the line of force or fullet pulling resistance. With the resistance pulling your arms straight forward, the automatic thing to do is to pull in the opposite direction of that forward pull. This would be a straight back direction of movement. However, Squeezing the scapula together to activate the middle trapezius requires a different direction of movement. That one is inward and not straight back, as the origins of the middle trapezius are not positioned directly opposite the direction of resistance. Therefore, they're not fully loaded. 
One of the most common upper trapezius exercises would be the barbell shrugs or machine shrugs. However, using dumbbells or cables allows the weight to be held alongside the torso and hips, which keeps the spine straight and stable in its natural position. When performing your shrugs with dumbbells or with cables, it's important to notice that you want to have a 10 degree forward lean in your upper torso. And again, the movement must always be performed quickly up or rapidly raising the weight, followed by a flex and then a slow eccentric lowering of the weight or four seconds lowering of the weight. Another thing worth mentioning is even though the trapezius is able to pull the scapula in various directions, it actually has a full 150 degree angle of directions. It would be a big mistake to pull the shoulders upwards and then roll them backwards, believing this will somehow engage the middle trapezius fibers. Movement should always move directly opposite resistance. Since the resistance in this case with dumbbells would be straight downward, gravity would continue to be pushing straight downward, and the direction of movement should of course exclusively only be straight upwards. Rolling the shoulders backwards is a mostly useless because the middle trapezius are not being loaded by a front pulling resistance. The only direction of resistance is straight gravity. It is best to perform shrugs and scapula movement simultaneously, even using dumbbells or cables, since this movement typically allows a significant amount of weight to be used, often as much as 80 to even 100 pounds per side. Loading only one side at a time could increase the risk of injury to the spine. Performing both sides of shrugs simultaneously would provide balance and stability and also, of course, be very natural, very much like engaging both arms simultaneously during a dumbbell pressing movement. Now opposite position loading requires that resistance come from a direction that is mostly opposite the origins of the middle trapezius fibers. Since these are not targeted efficiently in rowing exercises, the origins are on the spine, the center of the torso, the resistance should of course come from a more lateral or side angle. The motion should of course be mostly scapula, as these are what it attaches to, your shoulder blades, because that is the only motion the middle trapezius produces, of course. The emphasis should be on squeezing the shoulder blades together with less emphasis on pulling with the arms as they, again, do not attach to your middle trapezius. In this example here, you can see that the cables are set up at a 45 degree angle from either side of my torso. My torso is supported on an upright bench, so it does not change position. And I'm doing the entire movement by pulling my shoulder blades together keeping my arms bent at a 90 degree angle, which puts a little bit of strain on my bicep, but not much. This is the only way to effectively target your middle trapezius fibers. Everything else is less efficient. So guys, that is training your traps in a nutshell. That is your upper trap and your mid trap. Basically training all the muscle fibers with those two particular movements done correctly. If you found the video helpful, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you'd like online coaching from me, please email me directly at castlinprogress at gmail.com. If you'd like to join my community, go to my store, purchase my flashcards, any of the helpful information, articles, videos, or any resources I provide, go to www.castlinprogress.com. You don't need anyone. You don't need a gym. You don't need fancy equipment. You don't need really anything. You guys can have the most amazing, healthy body you can ever have. You can become a bodybuilder, a champion athlete. These are the exercises that you need. Alright guys, yes you can. Everyone, you can do it on your own. I hope these videos help.